hope you're doing okay. Today is actually Sunday at the time of filming this video, but at the time of watching this video, I will be in LA, very excited about that. But today is Sunday and I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm just packing today. So I thought, because I'm packing today, why not do a bit of a holiday packing tips and tricks semi-guide all thrown in together. I've got a huge list that I use when I pack, and so I will share that with you too. But I'll cover all sorts of things here from packing the most efficient way to overpacking and all that kind of jazz. So let's get started. I have made notes. So my first tip is kind of an obvious one, but it is to roll your clothes instead of folding them, it's just a much more efficient way space-wise for packing. And actually my grandma called me the other day and she was like, I've just read in a magazine a page all about how rolling your clothes is the best thing. And she actually said, and I hadn't heard of this tip before, but you can roll your clothes in sort of big clumps almost. And she said to put the heavier clothes that don't crease in the middle and then you're more likely to crease clothes and lighter clothes on the outside of the roll. Gonna give that one a go. I've never given that one a go before, but thank you grandma for the tip. And another thing that I do clothes-wise is I put all of my shoes at the bottom of my bag. So when I stand my bag up, all of my shoes are at the bottom and that way they're not pushing down on your clothes and more likely to cause creases on the top. Speaking of shoes, another thing I do is stuff my shoes with stuff because it's kind of wasted space. If you've got trainers or boots or that kind of thing, I put socks in there, sometimes I put my camera lenses in there, sometimes I put my workout gear in there, like leggings and bras and all that kind of stuff. So they're actually a really handy space to stuff extra things in. Now, one thing that I never forget are tote bags. I just always throw in tote bags or plastic bags just some kind of bag, it's really handy to have them in your case because not only are they good for popping your shoes in and then that way your shoes aren't getting all dirty and going all over your clothes, they're really good for dirty washing, you can just throw your dirty washing in there and then when you come home, you've got a washing bag ready to go, throw it all in the washing machine and you're done. Now I have a few toiletry slash cosmetic specific tips and my first one is you know powder compacts, how sometimes you can get to your destination, you open it up and it's in a million and one pieces. This has happened to one of my Becca highlights before, absolutely devastated so now I do this with all of my powder compacts. I take a cotton pad and I just put it into the compact and therefore it gives it a bit of space and it's much less likely to smash so really good for your highlighters, powders, bronzers, all of those kinds of things. And another thing which I've definitely learned from experience is to take some clean film, I think in the US you call it saran wrap. To me that's so much cooler than cling film, saran wrap, it just sounds so cool. But some kind of plasticky cling film thing and you just take it, put it into squares and then wrap it over the top of all of your toiletries, so over the top of all of your liquids and that way they're much less likely to spill and kind of explode for me every time that I come back. It's never when I'm going there, it's when I come back and I'm unpacking and I just can't be asked with it anymore. There's always something that has exploded, last time it was an SPF nightmare to get out of things. Before that it's been shampoos, conditioners, so now I just take a little square, put it over the top and then I just keep these on the other end so I can do it when I come back and just do the same when I come the other way because it's a real pain in the ass. Now my other tip for toiletries is something that I've mentioned a million and one times before but it's just to have a pre-packed case of toiletries ready to go. I have my toiletry bag, I have everything in there. Whenever I come back from a trip, I always just refill things up, just refill up my shower gel, refill up my cleanser so it's good to go again. And that way you haven't got the mammoth task of being like, oh God, have I got SPF? Have I got my toothpaste? Have I got all these things? It's just ready to go. I don't even have to think about it. I have a quick look through just to see if there's anything that I need to add or anything that I've forgotten. I usually put my tweezers and nail scissors in there as well because I've only got one pair of those. But that way you're just adding a few extra things in and it doesn't take like half an hour to sort out. It takes more like five minutes. Now personally when I'm packing in a suitcase when it splits down the middle, just one of those classic things, I like to pack a suitcase of two halves if you will. So on one side I tend to do clothing and shoes and all those kinds of things and on the other side I tend to do toiletries and electricals. Obviously I have a lot of electricals because I travel with all this kind of jazz with me. <laughs> so that's takes up quite a lot of space but I just like to have that separation that way it's just easier to find clothes and it's easier to find cables and all that kinds of things it is separated but one thing that I do 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 <laughs> is that I like to have things that I know that I'm going to need desperately when I get to the other side just out and kind of on top and ready to go so for me that's my toiletries case it's got like my toothbrush in and just makeup remover so I'm ready to go to bed and then pajamas if I've got those two things I'm kind of sorted so I always make sure that they're on top 
And also, another tip that I have is, you know I was talking about shoes and stuffing my camera lenses in earlier. Another thing that's really handy to use when packing are socks. They're actually amazing and they're really good for anything that is delicate and fragile. You can just shove them in a sock and it's almost like a little bit of padding going around, plus you're taking your socks as well. So for me, I use them for camera lenses. It just is nice and compact and keeps them kind of protected. And also perfumes, any kind of glass bottles. Shove it in a sock, shove it in your suitcase and fingers crossed it's still intact on the other side. <laughs> I'd say my biggest packing tip though is to have your own master packing list. So for me, I just sat there one evening and I was bored so I made my own little PDF, I wrote down my list and sort of left it there and really thought if I'd missed anything out as I've done trips I've added things, taken things away and I've just saved it as a PDF on my laptop and that way I just have a master packing list, that way hopefully I never forget anything, so far so good, touch wood and all that. I like to print one out and pack it in my suitcase so at the other end I can tick things off and make sure that I haven't left anything in the hotel room as well and there's loads of different pads and things that you can find online, you can find like little pre-made notepads with them on but I just like to have my own one because that way I know exactly what I'm taking is exactly what I need. Now speaking of overpacking, I have a few tips to add here because I feel like we all do it. I try to be really efficient and not take a million and one things but I always end up doing it. You just do, it's just human nature to take everything. You want to take like the kitchen sink with you. But I have seen a few tips on Pinterest and I haven't given these a go personally but I thought they were methods worth sharing in case anyone's tried them. Let me know what you think. One of them was the 54321 method and that involved taking I wrote it down. Five tops, that includes jackets, four bottoms, three dresses, three shoes, two swimsuits, two bags, one hat, one watch, one pair of sunglasses. Now obviously that's quite a summer holiday, beach holiday specific, and I feel like I might give that a go later on in the year when I'm going to Malta with my girlfriends, really looking forward to that. But I quite like the idea of that, it was quite simple, let me know if you've tried it, and another one that I saw was to take three tops to every bottom. And I feel like, although I don't specifically follow that rule every time I go away, I kind of do. It's better to have more tops than bottoms, because they get sweaty and dirty and your bottoms don't really as much. So I feel like for packing for LA I'm probably going to follow that rule and give that a go. I was having a little look online and I found loads of crazy things on Pinterest and some people actually use a sandwich bag or like a big kind of resealable bag for all of their clothes and they plan out their outfits and they're really quite organised about it. I think that's a really good idea but personally for me the one tip that I would say is to check the weather at your destination because sometimes it's not always quite how you think and if you think that it's been really hot and actually it's really cold and you haven't even got a jacket you're going to have to buy one and that's a bit of a pain. So I tend to just check the weather and I try to plan out my outfits. I'm not really rigid or specific about it but I just try to take things I know are going to go together if I've got a couple of big occasions while I'm there I make sure that I've got a play suit or something to wear. I've got one pair of high heels and one thing that I would say is you always need less shoes and bags than you think you need. For me, I tend to just take one or two bags with me. I tend to double up my hand luggage bag as one of my actual bags I can use on holiday and then take maybe three pairs of shoes for a week, a pair of trainers, a pair of flats, a pair of heels and you're kind of good to go. Maybe four. No. We'll see how many come to LA with me. <laughs> but that is it. Now I need to stop procrastinating and actually get around to packing it all up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other tips, do pop them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.